This is the pork belly from the local Casca, Evil Omnicorp, and it tastes that way. It, it looks that way. The fat isn't contiguous. It's very granular and globby and gnarly, but you can see somebody making bacon, if they know the trick, is to bend it in the store, and you can tell how much fat content, like if there's no muscle at all, this will be quite stiff. The muscle actually moves nicely, so you want to bend these and get the bendiest one you can, what's still in uh, best before date. Now, if you get real pork belly from the butcher, from an actual animal, it's off-putting because the bacon has a top note of pork. Where people, especially in North America, aren't used to having that actual flavor of an animal. So when I make bacon to give away, I always use this uh, Costco stuff. Now drain off some of this fluid. I think mainly it's water because profit. Water's cheap, meat's expensive. There's the fat. You see how grainy and blubbery gelatinous it is. That doesn't happen when the pig's actually running around. The, the, the pigs you get from the butcher, it's not like that. They maybe get to run around a little bit more. Now in order to cure the meat, we gotta make a brine with this Prague powder, which is nitrate, essentially. If you don't use this, you'll kill somebody. That's what makes the flesh pink when you cut open bacon. Otherwise, it'd be gray. Got a gallon of water, cup and a half of kosher salt, cup of raw sugar, two teaspoons of pink stuff, Pink salt, this is actually white, but it's the same stuff. I use seven. I kind of dial it back a little bit. Uh, maple syrup, I don't use that. I use molasses. I like the, the molasses kick better. Bunch of sage. Uh, it's not the season. Normally, I can go in the back 40 and just grab some sage, uh, some thyme, a couple of garlics. I got the garlic. Nope, I ain't got no time. So we're going to use the leftover parsley. That gallon of water chooching away there. We'll start with a single cup of raw sugar. This is golden sugar. Same, same, only different. Won't matter for this, but if you're baking something, you got to follow the recipe exact, and you also got to be cognizant of your elevation. If you're baking bread in Aspen, Colorado, it's a little bit different than if you're baking bread in Louisiana. Some black strap molasses from Crosby's, downtown Ain't John, New Brunswick. Proud herring choker made. You wouldn't believe the amount of people would get on a plane to go to St. John's and end up in a time warp and disgorged in St. John. Talk about, talk about disappointment. Luckily, this recipe only goes to eight. No need to take your shoes and socks off to count. Oop. How many was that? About that much. In case you're not privy to the inner workings of the blue ticket, pink ticket, North American marriage situation, let it be known that if you let this mess of molasses and sugar boil over. God help ya! Let that stew a little bit, let the flavors coalesce. Well, I got some COVID in my nose. A trick, you never would have thunk this, but my wife come up with this one. You taste the marinade before you put it on the meat. If the marinade doesn't taste good, the meat ain't gonna taste good. It's still hot, we're gonna transfer this out the side on account of there being snow on the ground. This is the most dangerous thing you can do a full pot full of fluid you got to make sure you got proper footing there's nothing slippery on the floor there's no kids around there's no dogs around there's no because you don't think of it but a pot of water you slip do the mr bean onto your back and third degree burns all over your crutch you know what let's just let it sit for a while it ain't hurting anything <laughs> my <laughs> sweetie <laughs> And make sure there's no leaks. You put it in the fridge, turn it over every day, seven days. It'll firm right up. You'll find it get uh, stiff with a little manual. Still ignoring you. Got the power pellets here. We'll get this thing hotted up. 
I'll say clean off the bacon. It's been about a week. Let's we'll see if we can't get this thing chooching with the nuclear codes. Hello, smoker. I gotta wash these off. Ah! Hello, oven. Ah! It's like dial up internet. Ma, get off the phone. I want to play Dungeons and Dragons on the BBS. Weaken the difference, flipping, flopping in the fridge. You can tell it's stiffened right up, and if we had a look at the meat, it should be nice and pink on the inside. Speaking of which, we'll get this schmoo wiped off the big chunks. In any case, get it ready for the main event. Cold water. Got myself a fancy dish just for the occasion. Big old stainless steel chafing dish to go with my Arborite counter. You believe some fellas give me shit about my non granite counters. Ain't the Kardashians around here. I'm gonna pat them dry. Don't let that white Catholic guilt get to you. Use paper towel. It grows on trees. The thing is with the reusable, you think you're doing yourself a big favor and Mother Earth guy and so forth. Let me tell you, partner, she don't give a fuck. The thing is with the tea towels, they invariably withhold hair, what gets on everything. And there's nothing worse than porking down and you get a gob full of hairs. Especially of the golden reliever varietal. Sick. That'll do, pig. Precious cargo. Oh. Might the, the uh, American seatbelt extendo cock. Not gonna reach. Oh, we'll just drive gentle. <coughs> COVID. Just noticed this in the shot. It strikes me, it would strike me as odd to have a big vat of baby flavored baby powder flavored vaseline in your gator as completely legitimate farming purposes the hens get a chafed ass and yeah completely legitimate farming paper smelling good ooh, ooh, ooh. and she's done 150 dungarees frankenstein is what we're looking for well smoked Fellas were recommending I change the element here to a higher wattage element and I'm prone to agree on account of this thing not getting up to temperature until I put a wee blanket over top. Oh, crusty, musty carpet. That's the flavor. Good morning, good morning. Chickadee is at a sleepover. I can't hardly even. It's such a joyful glow event is momentous morning baby doll is with brother bear visiting her parents she took the dog that means it's just me the chickens the chicks and the bunnies and they're all outside we're gonna have a special treat breakfast <laughs> Don't judge me, I like them tall. Six foot ten, so I can fit it all in. Said you can glean a lot about a man's personality by what he reads. I wouldn't know. I just use them as expensive coasters. Oh, fuck yeah! Some vitamin B. Fatty boom batty. Get in my belly. Double knock more of you. J'ai faim, je suis faim. En tout cas, la pièce de résistance des fèves au lard à l'érable, fèves du sirop d'érable pur du Québec. Ah, <coughs> mon vieux. A toasted du toast avec du butter fart véritable. La Dolce Vida, partner. 
I don't get any better than that. Yeah, maybe a little better. Oh, fuck me. Mmm. That top note <laughs> parsley really comes through. Oh, let's have a moment of silence for the post coital bliss and belly full of bacon. <laughs> you likely heard the clarion call of all the angels in heaven. That was my bacon. I'm not one to boast much, but partner. The more the fucky, fucky bien tight. It's the bacon, no? Call this mon vieux, c'est tout bien rangé, tout bien cordé. A fine tart, I spy. Bunch of tarts. Bunch of tarts. A kind. Lemon. Keep it up. Some nice dentist will make an honest woman out of you.